The first thing about psychiatry is such different people walk through your door and you never know who's going to come in that day. You find yourself following wherever their story takes you. You can't treat anybody who's got a mental disorder or emotional difficulties without looking at everything, you know, in order to understand what their vulnerabilities are, but also to understand what their strengths are and to actually then develop with them the sort of treatment that works for each individual person. You can change people's lives in so many ways. It's not just the medicine bit of it. You work with their families, you work with the police on legal issues, you work with the social services on social issues. We also learn from our patients all the time, just by the nature of being a fellow human in the world. Certainly, we're, as women, able to feel and show more empathy. MRI studies have shown that. And I think that's very useful for psychiatrists because quite often we're dealing with patients who may not show their emotions. How mental illness can impact on someone's well-being. And it can affect anyone, really. No one is immune. We are all in the same boat. In psychiatry, one of the challenges is there's no boundary sometimes. When you're working with your patients, it's like there's, there's so much to do for individuals because there's so much need. Sometimes emotions come up when you see a patient, but then there's a lot of support which colleagues give you. So I think trust is the main thing which builds relationships. Being able to be there for other people in their, their time of need is, is, a, is a privilege. My main challenge was always that I was different. Being a female was an extra layer to that. It's terribly important that a subject like psychiatry has a balance of women and men. They bring a lot to one another. Successful women should not depend on being the exact image of a successful man. The other thing that there is stigma about is actually about psychiatrists themselves having mental disorders. I have had depression a few times in my life, and it's only very recently that I've learned not to be ashamed of it. Systemic change is important. Individuals have to advocate for that. And at a personal level, you really need to look after yourself. Ask for help as much as you need it. Ask questions, be inquisitive. In my delivery of solution to people, I have actually found solutions for myself. Some of the overcoming of challenges has actually been because either I have been carried along by someone or I have been able to carry someone else along. There's so much exciting work happening in psychiatry, like I said, research around, for example, COVID and mental health. We're just discovering now how the brain operates in particular illnesses and how we can use that knowledge to develop new treatments. We've got to start thinking about psychiatry being representative globally and for us to link with women all over the world, whether we are talking about women's mental health, whether we are talking about women in psychiatry, whether it means reaching out to female physicians in other specialties to say that we share experiences, we bring the best of what women do into our medical specialties and be proud of it. Don't feel you've got to sit on your own and work it out. Talk to people, because it's not sitting there in, in a particular book. And don't let anybody tell you that you need to choose between having a family life or having a professional life. Believe in yourself. 
and you can do it because the future ahead of you is very bright if only you can see it.